What is going on people? It is your boy Daddy Mac and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shields Wi-Fi battle. We are against Jay, Jane and Tomo, who's a really good friend of mine, uh, Instagram friend. We met on Instagram and we talk a lot on Instagram about Pokemon and other games that we got going on. He's a pretty cool person, so make sure you guys give him a follow. His link is gonna be in the description down below to his Instagram and also his YouTube channel. But I gotta choose my Pokemon quick before this battle gets started. Um, he's He, number one, has a really cool team. I am a big fan of Electivire and the Malamar. Beware is a Pokemon I've been wanting to use for a while. Same thing goes with the um, Escavalier. Sanaconda, I've never gone against. Dragapult is a very scary Pokemon. I'm just gonna start with Izumi. Uh, given that I only got 10 seconds left to choose my Pokemon at this point. Um, a couple things I'm missing to commentate about. We are using a brand new team. It's built around your boy Reggie Drago, and I get I forgot to get my Pokemon some Dynamax candies, unfortunately. So we're gonna try to go Dynamax less and go from there. Now, if you guys are interested in what the team looks like, make sure you guys go check out the comment down below. It's gonna be a pinned comment that I've made for you guys, so be sure to check it out. It's a really cool team, very unique team in my opinion. Now, um, I really am tempted to just set up the um, the belly drum, but the Dragapult gets in the way. So I don't think it's time for that quite yet. I wish that Azumarill got flip turned. That would be big. That would be really big. Um, I almost clicked belly drum, unfortunately. What are you gonna do um, with this? Are you gonna switch? I think I'm, I'm thinking about switching also. Um, I don't got a physical, I don't got a dedicated physical wall is the only thing. If you decide to go for a poison type attack. Um, I think we can go Dalamize. But you're weak. I'm, I'm weak to you. I'm very weak to you. Lucario, maybe? But we got it. We, if we eat a superpower. I mean, superpower isn't. Uh, should I go Lucario? I'm gonna go Lucario. I, I feel a little bit pressured. I, this is a really interesting interesting lead that he started off with. So. Uh, it scares me a little bit. His team is very underrated. IMO. Trick Room? We were just facing a Trick Room team not too long ago on the last Wi Fi battle, actually. So that scares me. I was not expecting the Trick Room. It makes sense that it's a Trick Room team for the most part, other than the Electivire and the Dragapult now that I look at his team. So that scares me a lot. Um, obviously, it's not Assault Vest, which is good news. If I hit, if I hit the Aurora Sphere, will I be okay? For the most part, yes. And I think I'm thinking about doing it instead of hitting Nasty Plot. I think we're gonna hit the Aurora Sphere. I want to set up against uh, J. Oh. That's what I was afraid of. It's a crit! It's a crit! Ah, <laughs> uh, it is contrary. Yeah, we're in big trouble. We're in really big trouble. It's a very slow Pokemon to begin with. I'm gonna go Delmize because I am I think I am slow. I have some speed investment now that I think about it. That's rough. <laughs> That's highly rough. This Malamar. This Malamar um, scares me. I mean, I can go Poultry, guys. 110, 120. I will take 120, uh, 120, twin. Okay. I'm gonna go Power Whip. That's the right move, right? I'm gonna go Poultry, guys. Let's go Poultry, guys, and hopefully, I, I am slower. Oh, okay. Whew, I got scared. He's, he's holding a Muscle Band, which is interesting. Throat Chop, it's gonna knock us out, unfortunately. And that was the slowest Pokemon I had in my team for the Trick Room. So we got to play this Trick Room as best as we can because we're going to get swept if we don't. So next option I got is going Azumarill, Aqua Jet, or Mamoswine. Mamos, I think um, Azumarill. I don't think he's running. So he has Trick Room, Super Power, and he probably is running Dual Stab with um, a Dark type attack and a Psychic type attack. So we're going to go ahead and hit the Aqua Jet here. Hopefully, I don't I don't think it's gonna knock out quite frankly, but I'm hoping it does. He's already put a big hole on my team. He's gonna go pluck. That's uh that's interesting. So my citrus berry. Thank you, Nintomo. That hurts. <laughs> that hurts a lot. Okay, so now we're gonna belly drum. 
I think it's a ah, oh, I don't got my citrus berry. So if it hits me with something, it's gonna hurt. I didn't think this through. I clearly didn't think this through. I clearly didn't think this through. How come every time I bring a new team to the table, I choke? It happened to me with my friends Kevin. Um Propaganda. Not too long ago I had a battle with him. Superpower, please don't knock out. And knocks out. Can the trick room wear off now? I'm I'm happy to go into Reg Rego and blow stuff up. I handle the last trick room team very well, and I'm handling this one very, very poorly. I'm down to three Pokemon, he still has six, so. So, um he's he's playing really good. Really, really good. I'm a toy scarf Nintomo, so I'm about to hit this dragon energy, and I'm about to make this Malamar cry back to its Pokeball. I didn't see what Pokeball it came out of, but I assume it's a Pokeball. Okay. If he decides to go into a Scavalier, what is my answer to that? Um, it's always going to be Slowking. Because on the Slowking, I'm running Flamethrower for these pesky Ferrothorn, given that the Ferrothorn resists double stab. And I'm also running Scald on it to try to burn things. Um, and I am Assault Vest, by the way. 252 HP, 252 Special Attack. So we're going to go ahead and blow stuff up with the Reggie Drago, who's really, really underrated, in my opinion. Reggie I like he gets more of the more of the uh, more of the uh, attention. I almost said intention, but it's attention um, than the Reggie Drago does, and rightfully rightfully so because it's electric. It only has one weakness. I, I outspeed you, my friend. You do not want this smoke. Look, Reggie Drago was just taunting my boy Nitomo here, and we're about to play catch up real quick. His best bet is honestly to go into Escavalier. Once I knock out the Escavalier and Cinderace, then I think I can, uh, I, I can, uh, I, I, I can bring this, ra I can bring this back to my favor and uh, pick up the win. Dragapult goes down. I am scarfed, my boys. This is why. You know, a lot of people do run the Reggie Drago as a physical attacker, and rightfully so, because it gets the Thunder Punch, the Fire Punch, and if you decide to run a special Reggie Drago, you get nothing but Dragon Attacks. And that's why um, I, I, it's very important that I try to get rid of any opponents. Um, uh, let me switch real quick. <laughs> Slow King. Uh, I'm afraid of the Sword Dance. I'm very afraid of the Sword Dance. I'm, I think... We can pick up a, a Reggie Drago sweep here shortly. Um, so what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is go to Slow King because I know Escavalier has massive attack. Hopefully it's not running. I don't think it gets Trick Room. But as I was saying, on my Reggie Drago, since I'm running special, I'm only I'm running three Dragon type attacks. So it's very important I get rid of any Fairy type Pokemon on my opponent's side. That's a two hit KO. I don't think I outspeed. I really don't think I outspeed. We'll try. I don't think I outspeed though. Um, but it's very important that I get rid of any steel types and any what else resists dragon fairy steel fairy and That is it. So it's very important that I get rid of any steel types any fairy types when I'm running ready Drago um, And I'm very I'm, re I'm very fortunate that he only has one dragon resistance within the escavalier. So I'm happy and It's just one of those things he withdraws the Cavalier. I really wish I had Regenerator on the Slow King. I really do. Havana? 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. I feel bad. Okay, Santa Conda comes out. And uh, Escavalier is gonna. It's probably banded. I'm thinking it's banded. It is banded. I'm gonna scald. If, if this is a Gigantamax Sonic Conda. Okay, it's not. He goes to Stealth Rock, and that's that's a good play. That's a really good play. I'm gonna Scald, and hopefully, knock this, burn it, please! Yes! Oh, I saw it coming. The leftovers is probably gonna upset that Scald damage, and the burn damage. So, it's all good. He lives to fight another turn. He lives to fight another turn. Does he have any special attackers left? No, they're all physical, so Slow King did its job. Slow King did his job. This battle is closer than you think. High horsepower is gonna knock us out. It does not! Slow King. You buff boy. Are you a boy? Let me see. What's your gender? It's a crit! That crit didn't matter. But I'm the crit king. I'm the crit king. 
How was your guys' this weekend? Anything special? I worked I worked and stayed uh, home all day for the most part. I worked Saturday, not Sunday. Sundays are my days off. Okay, Electivire comes out. Very cool Pokemon to see. Like I said, this battle is closer than you think. Um, unfortunately, we don't. We no longer need the um, Slow King. So whatever we go to, we're just gonna go down. Don't matter. Darkest Lariat knocks us out. Boom! Very cool animation. Very, very cool animation. And guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back out into my boy Reggie Drago. And I'm just gonna head to Dragon Energy. Dragon Energy. Oh, that I forgot about the stone the stealth rocks. Dragon Energy will still knock this Electivire out. I'm certain. I am certain. We're three to two. I'm pretty sure we can bring it back. I've had I had the really cool I had the coolest rank battle not too long ago. Um, actually, just before this Wi-Fi battle with Intomo, and uh, obviously rank battles are three versus three. Ah oh, no, discharge. It still does damage. So when we come back out, I, I am. Oh no, that's uh, that's payback for that burn. That's that's very good. Darkest Larry, he now outspeeds me, unfortunately. And all of a sudden, Reggie Drago is worthless to me. I get paralyzed. <laughs> My comeback chances are gone. They're gone. Uh, so he has the Escapel here. He has Electivire. What's his other Pokemon? Please, please. It's another crit. It's another crit. <laughs> Dragon Energy, of course, will knock out. And um, Reggie Drago did his job. It's going to come down to Mamoswine. What's his other Pokemon? So he has Beware. Oh, I lost. Did I lose this? I think I lost. I think I lost. Because if his Beware is Fluffy Beware, Mamoswine can't knock it out. Rage Drago was my best bet against that. Um, that big boy Beware. Escavalier comes back out. And I got no choice but to hit you with the Dragon Energy. Yeah, those are the two only Pokemon left on this team. Really cool battle. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Dragon Energy, of course, not going to do anything. Because our low, our HP is very low. It's going to do nothing. Nothing. Iron Head. We go down. That Paralysis, though. That came in clutch. That came in rarely clutch. Otherwise, I would have won. I would have won. Here comes the Mammoth Swine. And the first uh, battle with this team comes to an L, unfortunately. Earthquake's my best bet. I got no choice but to Earthquake, unfortunately. I don't think I can knock this Escavalier out either because it has really good defense stats. I thought so. I thought so. He's going to hit me with the Razor Shell. That's going to knock me out. It doesn't knock me out. That's good. So it's not banded. I wonder what item this thing has. Earthquake again. Imagine we land a crit on a beware and that's game. That would be cool. That would be cool. Oh, I still, I'm, I'm, I'm salty about the paralysis, but at the same time, this battle is really balanced because I got the burn. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to hit the mic. He got the, I got the burn. He got the paralysis. He gets the full para. It's just a really good battle. It's going to come down to the beware. This was a good battle. Probably a, one of the top 10 battles I've had. And I know I say that, but eventually at the end of the year, or oh, I thought that was going to knock out. Superpower. Superpower. This battle came in very, very close. Eventually at the end of the year or at the end of Sword and Shield, I'm going to do a top 10 Wi-Fi battles that we've had. Um, I don't know. That's the battle. Jane and Telmo, really cool Lee card. I'm taking your Lee card. Really cool team that you got there. Um, let me just take his Lee card real quick. Lee card taken. That is going to be it for this video. Make sure that you guys leave a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure you guys comment down below on your vote using hashtag MVP for your vote for the most valuable Pokemon. Most valuable Pokemon. If I can do some letters that come up like this on the video, 
when I edit it. That would be kind of cool. But without further ado, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. Subscribe to Jay and Tomo's channel, and also go give him a follow on Instagram. He's a really cool guy. And that's going to be it. It's your boy Daddy Max signing off. I'll see you guys next time.